G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to make these really cute hats. This one here is used worsted weight or 10 ply or Aran yarn and this one here is using double knit or 8 ply. These can be used for dolls or even a premier size. There is a free written pattern located on my website. The yarn that I will be using in the demonstration is from redheart.com Redheart.com is a great place to buy yarn. There's so much pretty yarn over there. And also a great place for colour inspiration. Please subscribe to my videos as we have two videos every week. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies we're going to need some yarn. I will be using worsted weight for the demonstration. I have a yarn needle with a large eye. I have a crochet hook to go with my yarn. I prefer to use a H or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook with my worsted weight but you can use a 5.5 or an eye size hook and you're also going to need a pair of scissors please don't ask where I bought these because to tell you the truth I cannot remember I think it was a wool shop somewhere on my travels I really don't know but I just thought they were cute so first of all what we want to do we can start this with a magic ring or we can do a chain four and join. So I am going to use a magic ring. As soon as I figure out how to do it. <laughs> ah, there we go. Making that look really hard. So first of all, we want to chain three to start. So one, two, three. Oops. We want to work two double crochet into the middle of our ring. I'm going to assume that you know how to do a double crochet. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to work three double crochet into the middle of the ring. chain one and then work three double crochet into the ring and we're going to work this until we have four sets of three double crochet so if you've made a granny square before it'll be the start of a granny square so we've got one two three so another lot of three double crochet And chain one so we pull the middle tight and then we're going to join to the top of the chain three sometimes getting both loops is harder than others if you're changing color you're going to cut off now finish off and join over into the chain one space if you're not changing color we are going to slip stitch across and we just slip stitch into the top of the double crochets there and now we're going to work a chain three and two double crochet in the same space chain one two double uh, sorry three double crochet into the same space into each chain one space around we are going to work three double crochet chain one and three double crochet so basically this is the second round of a granny square if you've ever made one before so I'm just going to keep the camera going if I'm going too fast you can pause me and then we can catch up when you're at to the same spot so 
So I'm coming up to my last chain one space, so I need to work my three double crochet, chain one and three double crochet. And then we're going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. Oop. <laughs> that didn't work. The slip stitch. Alrighty, so what we need to do now, again, if you're changing colour, finish off. If not, slip stitch across to the chain one space. And now, from now on, we don't have any more increasing. So where we did two lots of three double crochet in the same space, that was classed as an increase. But now we don't do any more of those. So it's chain three and two double crochet all in the same chain one space. Into this space over here, so it's the space in between our corners. Here, we're going to work oops, three double crochet. into the corner chain one space, work three double crochet. And again in that space, so we're doing three double crochet all the way around. In every space and chain corner chain one space. And then this round, it will start to curl over and start to look like a hat. Then we're going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch so this is actually it started to curl up and this is the inside and that's the outside so you can flip it around and you're going to look at your hat and with the eight ply or double knit yarn just making sure this is the right size yep I did one, two, three, hang on, one, two, three, four rounds of the shell, and then I did two rounds of single crochet. So I've got one, two, three, so I need to do another round of the shells, and you can adjust this, like you can do more or less rounds of the shells, or you could do uh, more or less rounds of the single crochet to have a wider band so we're just slipping across to the chain uh, to the space sorry if you're changing color you would have finished off and not slip stitched across chain three two double crochet in that same space I don't know why but I'm really anxious today with this video Anyone would think it was the first time I've ever done a video. Into the next space, and in each space around, we, it's just like the last one, we're going to work three double crochet. So I'm just going to leave the camera going because this is only a short round.
So when we get back around, you guessed it, we're going to join to the top of the chain three. So again, looking at your hat, and you could do one more round of the shell. That may make it a little bit too big. But I'm going to do the single crochet now. Of course, you can do the shell and then less of the single crochet. So chain one into the same stitch you're going to work a single crochet and the chain one didn't count as a stitch it was just to get us in the right position and in each stitch around into the top of the double crochets from the previous row previous round you're going to work a single crochet and don't work it too tight if you find that you cannot loosen up with your tension just use a bigger crochet hook the single crochet tends to be a tighter stitch, so you don't want to make the hat opening smaller. Once we get back around, we're going to join to the top of the single crochet. So just going under both loops like you normally would and then work a slip stitch. Again, look at your hat. So you can see that's pulled that in a little bit, but we can actually just stretch it out. And I'm going to get some pink fluff. I'll get rid of that later. Um, I'm going to work another round of single crochet. And to do that, we do a chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. And in every stitch around. So pause the video and I'll meet you when we are ready to join. When we are ready to join, we're going to go into the top of the single crochet and work a slip stitch. Again, we're going to look at our hat. And I actually think that that's big enough. The way I judge a hat, and I don't really measure it, I look at the hat and I, don't, I hope this makes sense. It's got to be square, so across the bottom needs to be the same as the height, but then you want it a little bit shorter in the height than it is across the bottom. I know I have weird ways of describing things, so I hope that makes sense. So the width across there is going to be a bit shorter in the height. And I find that most of the time that actually fits people. No matter if you're a doll. I mean, dolls have different heads, but if you've got your doll there, then that'll be really handy. So I'm going to cut that off. And then we need to sew in our ends. We're just going to put that underneath the stitches of the single crochet round. And I'm going to cut that off. I would normally go back across, but I haven't got enough yarn, so I'm just going to snip that. That is so cute. So that's my worsted weight or Aran or Templar yarn. And this is my, <laughs> my eight ply or double knit. So you can see the difference in the sizes if I just squash that down. You can see the difference in the size that the difference in the yarn makes. And of course we had a smaller hook, like a G size or a 4mm with the 8-ply double knit yarn. So 
so you can see it's come out smaller as well so I really hope you enjoyed that quick video I would love for you to share your creations on my Facebook page all the links that you need are in the description box love to see what colors you have come up with I think they are so cute <laughs> so I hope you like again I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and until next time happy crochet